What is up, DIY Nation? Now, we are back in the duplex in Gallatin, Tennessee. And we're gonna be working on our second project. You guys were with me when we fixed this door over here, right? So, today, we have a very, I think this issue is a little bit more serious. So let's go take a look and see what we have. All right, so I just pulled the carpet in this little utility closet and there's like whatever this is and then check that out there's the water heater and it's sitting on that floor that floor right there if anybody wants to walk on that you see that see that that water heater is about to go to the basement the only thing holding that up is the joists that are over there and if it's been leaking on that I'm sure those joists are on their way to rot too mm. shaking my head I just tore the glue on off the top of this. And if you work on this bathroom, I do not want your phone number. I don't need any help from you. This is ridiculous. I mean, look at this. A piece of plywood, a piece of plywood, a piece of plywood, a piece of plywood, just to finish out that side. And what's this? What is this? Shaking my head. Man, if somebody came in my house and did that, I would be like, are you sure you could put it back? Lucky for me, I think I know what I'm doing. Whew, could look scary. All right guys, check it out. Yesterday I told somebody that uh, today at work I put one floor joist in and they were like, just one? I was like, yeah, it was an important one, so take a look. Here is the bathroom floor, and I posted some pictures yesterday, so I tore it all out. And down there, I had to build scaffolding so that I could feel safe. I had to light it all up, so that's, it took a while to do all that. There was absolutely no joist underneath this wall right here. And I mean, even though it's not that much of a low-bearing wall, I mean, it is still up there, and it still has a floor system on it, so it is carrying some weight. And the plywood down here is completely disintegrated. You see, it's just plate on top of joist and that actual bottom plate was disintegrated to only about a half inch thick but you can see I have replaced that don't ask me how I did that that's a spider-man move right there but anyway even notched in to, for the electrical see boom uh, and so uh, that plate right there is a little loose so I got to get it attached right there it's rotten I mean there's no way to really replace it without getting into some in-depth stuff but today the goal is to try to <laughs> replace either this joist and that joist and that one or at least one or two of them because I want this thing to be very very safe and you're sitting on that part of the floor I don't want you to feel like you're gonna go through all right that's what we got going on today wish me luck talk to y'all tomorrow or later on today let's just see how it went bye I got all the framing done downstairs in the plywood. We got it cleaned out. So I wanted to do take a moment right here to get some before pictures, like right there and then right through there. Okay, update. So what uh, the problem was is I couldn't get a joist from all the way from there to all the way here, and I needed to do two of them. And the reason is because of this right here. I mean, I could cut it a little short and go that way and come back, but this was stopping me from ultimately raising it up. So I decided to go ahead and double up on this over here, which I really feel a whole lot better about that because it's underneath that wall like we mentioned earlier. And then I'll just put a double hanger over there and a double header there and, and hang it off the wall. And then it should be fully supported and I can do this in two sections without having to cut all this plumbing pipe. So that's the plan. We'll see if we uh, see if it works out. All right, check back with you. Bye. I 
right, so here's an update. We got finished. I got the floor in up there. As you can see, we got a, a double header right there. And we were able to hang off of this one right here and off of the wall over there. And then I was able to <clears throat> put the joist in off the double there. And I ended up tripling up right here underneath the bathroom door. Wasn't really needed, but uh, there was floor missing in the doorway, so I had to I had to beef that thing up. But anyway, we didn't have to cut any pipes. And we were able to get the floor in. Alright guys, that's what we got right here. Let me know if you have any questions. Alright guys, we just about got this bathroom wrapped up. I got the plywood in. It looks beautiful. I couldn't be more happier. It took a lot of work to get it where it is today, so I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, there you go. Instead of 17 pieces, we did it in three. And of course, you could see why we had to slip in over there. Then we had to slip in over there. So it was kind of, if we wanted to have this in here, we kind of had to do it in three pieces. So that's what we got right there. It's all flat, it looks smooth, no bumps. So now it's ready for floor. I gotta put a cut. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you what's going on down here. So you can see the, the the bottom of the, you guys remember this bottom plate where I told you it is just, it was collapsed. It was disintegrated and basically the studs were, uh, the plywood was gone too. I mean, the studs were just basically sitting on the beams down there. So we lost like about an inch and a half from the plate. It was just levitating, rotted out. And then we lost the three quarter plywood. It was actually squashed down. So it was down three quarters. I got it jacked back up. Had to use multiple wedges and do it a little bit at a time. But as you can see, it's hard to see, but I, you get down in there. Down underneath this plate right there, there's some wedges and they start and they lift this wall back all the way back up there. It's literally sitting on top of three quarter inch pressure treated green wedges all the way down, all the way down. That's the only way I could get this wall lifted back up to where it needed to go and I did I did two of them, inch and a half, inch and a half. So it's, it's covered all the way across there. And so now you can see that the plywood is sitting where it's supposed to be if it was underneath that wall because they cut the plywood that joined this to the other side of the wall. It's not always a good idea because sometimes that wall is just sitting on plywood and that plywood is not sitting on anything. So if you cut the plywood on one side of the wall and it's on the other side of a joist, literally your wall is levitating on plywood now. You have to get something under there and jack it back up. That was not fun. So that's what we had to do. I got a little bit of drywall we're going to put over there and we're going to put some drywall mud on there first and then throw the baseboard in and then we should be ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, that's where we are. Check back in with you. All right guys, we're back out in Gallatin, Tennessee, working on the duplexes. So I got this done yesterday. So got the floor put in, got the bottom of that repaired all the way around, it was a mess. And we got drywall put on there. And then today I had to do the exact same thing over here. Pretty much repair all that. So over there, this is kind of like a before and that's kind of an after. That's actually the middle part. I'll, I'll, I'll show you after when, well, after, right? That's what I'm working on today. Holler at y'all later.